Good day, friends. So we're like 44 days into this full remodel. We tore this bungalow down to the studs. We spent about $50,000 on this project. I'll walk everybody around and talk about a few of the things that we did and try to touch on some of the costs. Right down to the wire, we have a tenant moving in tomorrow. The cleaners will be here tonight. So it's like, bam, bam, bam. This one went really quick. Before you know it, it's done. I hope everybody enjoys. Time to get started on this little two bedroom, one bath, full gut redo. Here's the current kitchen. Love the pea green sink. We're gonna go with a farm style, simple kitchen in here. Put the fridge on that side. I'm gonna do a washer and dryer closet. New windows, new interior doors, new exterior doors, new drywall throughout. We're gonna replace this panel. It's an old fuse style. We're gonna put a new service all-in-one 200 amp panel outside. And luckily this isn't drywall, this is actually paneling. You can see here, it's like a beautiful shellacked panel behind the first layer of paneling. I'm gonna pull all that out. We're gonna fully gut this tiny little bathroom. Uh, put in a new vanity, new toilet, new floors throughout. Little bedroom over here. There's the hot water heater in this closet. We're gonna frame this in. And then the second bedroom here with a little closet. In the 40s and 50s, they didn't need much. I think they had a lot less stuff back then. We get really good at our craft by doing one thing and doing it well. It's all about going deep, not wide. With that said, I've broken my cardinal rule by buying this old house and doing a full gut. We tore it down to the studs. And since I'm already this far into the project, I just figured I'd share. This place was collateral damage to get the free lot next door where we're gonna build the two ADUs. So we went ahead, we're putting all new wiring. We've got all new plumbing underneath this house, both drain lines and water lines. We put in a new HVAC system. We're gonna insulate the floor. We're gonna insulate the walls. We're gonna re-insulate the lid. We're gonna put new flooring down, brand new kitchen, brand new bathroom. And I'll share with you my strategy for saving money as we bring a 1940s house back to life. So just a quick look around. Here we tore out this half wall to open up the dining room kitchen area. We're gonna put new cabinets in, farm style, framed in a section for the fridge. New back door. Here we have a spot for the stacked washer and dryer. All new wiring, ductless mini split up top here. We're gonna have a bar that kind of acts as a room divider as well as a seating area. Entry closet over here. We figured we'd just take down all the exterior wall section so we could re-insulate the whole place. A couple of the walls were insulated, a couple of them were not. Here's a new bathroom. We punched out part of the bedroom closet to get a bigger vanity space. A new tub shower surround, it's under test. The only existing plumbing we left was some three inch cast in the main stack going out. Everything else below that has been replaced. So new drain lines, new hot and cold lines. And we have pretty much left the bedrooms as they were. We're gonna drywall over everything. This TNG one by 10 redwood up on the lid will get covered up. New drywall on the lid, new hand texture on these walls to match all the new drywall that's going in. There'll be new flooring. This 1940s bungalow will live like a brand new house. So not the most beautiful house on the block. Definitely was built in a time where frugalness was at the forefront of design. We did a few repairs, replaced some of the rotten window trim, replaced some rotten fascia couple like for like window replacements without changing any design. And this place is just about ready for paint. Over here we have our mechanical wall where the all-in-one power meter comes down. We also have our exterior mounted heat pump for the mini split. Doing the best we can with what we have on this old house. It's gonna shine up like a new penny. Getting these old walls ready for paint. This is a one by 10 redwood. And when it was painted originally, I don't think it was primed. So a lot of the paint on the grooves is peeling right off. So we're 
paying particular attention to that as we go around and we scrape it, hit it with a wire brush, and then sand it. Up top, we have this old board and batten style gable detail. We're not gonna change the era or the design of the house. Making some great progress. All the drywall's up, the first two layers of top are on, all the tape's done. You can see the yellow spots are where the mud is still wet. Drywall is complete. We've got the texture up. It's been knocked down and it's ready for finished work and paint. What a huge difference it made to put in new windows and new texture cover up that TNG ceiling that we had previously. All the finish work is done and prepped and we're ready to paint. So we've stood the doors up, basically turned the front room here into a paint booth. Cabinets are ready to paint. We've masked off everything that we don't want to get overspray on. And in a couple hours, we'll have a bright, shiny, new interior wall color. Coming right along, wood floor is about a quarter of the way done. Cabinets are in. Lighting's done, paint's done. Just did this custom redwood bar top. Bathrooms getting put back together. Tiles in, vanity's done, toilet. Wood is acclimating in the bedrooms and we will be wrapping this 40s bungalow up soon. So we put a new kitchen in, uh, new cabinets, was a few thousand bucks, all new appliances, stainless steel, um, stove, dishwasher, fridge, and washer and dryer. It was about $5,000. New windows, like for like replacement, new doors. This was a cabinet rack that was here but didn't have doors on it. We put a new hardwood floor in throughout. This is three and a quarter red oak. I spent about, I think I spent $2,300 on the material and another probably $2,000 in labor and finish. New interior doors throughout. This piece of redwood here was um, a historic framing member of Ashland Lumber. I found it up in the top of the lumber yard and had been stashed up there for who knows how long. We put an all new bathroom in here. We have 12 by 24 tile, standard simple vanity, um, Saltillo handmade tile backsplash, five foot fiberglass shower surround, new toilet. And then these little bedrooms are pretty simple. They just got window replacements, new paint. Uh, we did move the closet around slightly to make a little bit more room in the bathroom. So we had to move the hot water heater. The second bedroom, again, new paint, new fixtures, like for like window replacements and new interior doors. I think I spent about $1,500 on interior doors. Uh, we replumbed the whole house, all new PEX, water lines and ABS drain line all the way out to the street, to the main. So this house has brand new plumbing, brand new wiring, new floors, new kitchen, new bath, new appliances, new interior, exterior paint, and should be good to go with very little to no CapEx for the next, I don't know, 20 years, I hope. Mm -hmm.